friend and I heard about the program on um, my sister actually went here about five years ago and she graduated from the program and she was successful so I joined her to succeed in hospitality so I could become more um, just aware of the restaurant environment. You know. And here I work as well as my JVC volunteer. I'm the youth advocate. Um, so my main roles are to help young people identify any barriers that are can prevent them from getting full-time employment. Happy Reconciled, he taught me a lot of proper things as far as being on time, being at work at all times with mind, body, soul, all that. Um, I just want to say Catfrey Reconciled teaches you a lot of life skills. I decided to come here because at the time things wasn't really going the way that they want. I wanted them to go for me. I couldn't keep a job and it was kind of hard finding a job. So I joined this program. They helped me communicate with others, communicate with my employees, and how to keep a positive attitude. We are a nonprofit as well as there is a business that runs out of here um, and, and it also supports our mission. We're looking for a desire to change and a desire to be here, um, as well as just enough stability that we think employment is a suitable goal within the next three months, because the goal at the end is to get them into full-time employment. Um, we have about seven classes every year. Um, each class has about an average of 15 students in it. This is our life skills classroom. Um, this is where they spend their first three weeks. Um, we teach sort of five main components. Um, we teach um, culinary arts skills, so like basic knife skills, um, basic culinary arts, basic food tasting. Um, the second component that we teach would be um, resilience training, so it's coping skills. Um, the third component of, CAF, of this training program is self-advocacy skills. Um, as they're becoming adults, they're 16 to 22, all of them are looking for full-time employment or looking to become independent. Um, the fourth component is furthering your education. Um, so, students who have not completed their high school diploma work on their GED. Students that have, we start talking, we have partnerships with Delgado um, to help them get into college there. Um, and then the fifth component is employment skills. Um, so how to write a resume, how to dress for an interview, all of those nitty gritty things that you need to know to get a job. Um, I learned on um, hospitality, how to greet guests, um, how to serve. I'm in the back of the kitchen so I'm learning how to cook recipes. The other thing we push when we're here is something we call the eight habits of success. Um, so these are what we think is important in order to be able to keep a job and the main lessons that we really want them to leave with. Now when they're up here, they get a bigger introduction to like what Cafe Reconcile is and does. So they get access to other services. And we have an employment education coordinator. Um, she does two things. Um, number one, she um, helps find jobs for our students. Um, we have about 50 employment partners. Um, all of them at some point take our students as interns at their restaurant, and then if they do well as interns, we hope that they will hire them. If there's no space, we also help our students find jobs after they complete their internship. Um, the Emerald Lagasse, actually Emerald Lagasse is on the second floor right now having a huge event. Emerald Lagasse has been a huge um, partner for us. Um, and if a student ever comes back, um, we have tons of young people who come back as alumni. Um, well, we have that internships we go on. I'm going to either two row action or high school to work in the cafeteria. So I'm going to be doing that. But I'm also going to school to Delgado or in registered nursing. So this program has really opened up a lot of doors for me and all my peers. So I learned a lot. I like mentoring. I find myself a good speaker, so I feel as though I can mentor other students younger than me. Um, I also would like to be work with old people as far as you know, someone in a retirement home, and I plan on being an academician.